All right, in this video, we're gonna look at problem number 20 on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 20, one of the heaviest babies ever born was approximately 10.2 kilograms. Given that one kilogram is approximately 2.2 pounds, how many pounds did the infant weigh? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a pound. I'm gonna show you two different ways we can do this. One way is just using multiplication and the other way is going to be using a proportion. If you understand that you need to multiply here and the reason why we have one kilogram is approximately 2.2 pounds. Well, this baby weighed 10.2 kilograms. For every single one of these 10.2 kilograms, that represents 2.2 pounds. Therefore, the fast way to do this is take 10.2 kilograms, multiply it by 2.2 pounds per kilogram. Therefore, this baby weighed 22.44 pounds. If we round this to the nearest tenth, that's gonna be 22.4 pounds. Now, let me show you the second approach we can take here, and that is gonna be a proportion. The problem states that one kilogram is approximately 2.2 pounds. So that's what I have written right here. One kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. Since I have kilograms over here, I'm gonna put that 10.2 kilograms over here as well. So I have kilograms over kilograms is equal to pounds over pounds, but I'm putting X pounds down here. If one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds, 10.2 kilograms is equal to X pounds. A common way to solve a proportion is to cross multiply and divide. And I have several videos on this, but I will refresh your memory. Let's multiply these two numbers. One times X is X. That's our cross product here. One times X. We set that equal to the other cross product. We want to take 10.2 and multiply it by 2.2. Well, that's exactly what we did up here, right? 10.2 times 2.2 is 22.44, but we did go ahead and round that back here at the beginning because the problem said round to the nearest tenth of a pound. And as you can see, we do have X by itself. X pounds, X is gonna be around 22.4 pounds, just like what we got up here. Now doing a quick search in Google, convert kilograms to pounds, we got 10.2 kilograms, and it says we have around 22.48715 pounds. If we round this to the nearest tenth, it's going to be 22.5. Let me explain why the rounding's a little bit different here. If I just come back and type in one kilogram, the problem stated one kilogram is approximately 2.2 pounds. Technically, it's just a little bit bigger than 2.2 pounds. But since we already had an approximation given to us in the problem, 2.2 pounds, and notice that it's not exactly 2.2 pounds, that's why our decimal can be a little bit off there. But I don't want you to feel alarmed in thinking that on the T's test or some test that's multiple choice that it's gonna give you one answer choice is 22.4 and another answer choice is 22.5. I highly doubt they're gonna to try to trick you up that much. There should be a distinct difference between all of those weights enough to determine that here 22.4 is gonna be the correct answer. And there you have it, problem number 20 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can pick this up over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.